China's role as a mediator in the Russia-Ukraine war has come under the scanner. This after remarks by a Chinese diplomat on post-Soviet nations and on Crimea sparked a controversy. The comments drew sharp reactions from multiple nations in Europe and from Ukraine as well. They also raise questions on whether China has a neutral stance, which it claims to have on the war. Now, the comments were made by China's ambassador to France, Lu Sheyi. He was speaking to a French TV channel where he questioned the sovereignty of post-Soviet states. He said that these states do not actually have the status of independent nations, adding that there is no international agreement to materialize their sovereign status. Now, Lu also spoke about the status of Crimea, a region of Ukraine annexed by Russia in 2014. He said that the current status of the region cannot be explained easily as it was, quote unquote, originally Russian. Ukraine, which is also a former Soviet state, reacted sharply to the comments. Ukraine's presidential aide described the comments as absurd. He also asked China to not parrot the Russian propaganda. Several European nations like Latvia, Estonia and Lithuania condemned the remarks. They also sought clarification on whether the comments reflect China's stance. European Union's Foreign Affairs Representative Joseph Borrell termed the comments as unacceptable. The comments of the Chinese diplomat come as an embarrassment to France, particularly to President Emmanuel Macron. Remember, Macron visited China earlier this month and met with President Xi Jinping to encourage him to put pressure on Putin to end the war in Ukraine. The French Foreign Ministry has said that it has learned with consternation about the statements from the Chinese ambassador. The statement went on to say that it remains up to China to say whether these statements reflect its position, which France hopes not to be the case. The comments by the Chinese ambassador have raised questions on Beijing's stance, particularly on the war in Ukraine. Now, just a month ago, Chinese President Xi Jinping visited Moscow, where he met with his counterpart Vladimir Putin. And now for more on this, we are being joined by Yohor Abrelian, who is a senior journalist uh, governing international security and defense. Thank you for being with us. Now, these uh, comments by the Ch Chinese ministry have uh, invoked a sharp reaction. What do you make of these comments? Uh, well, uh, first of all, for having me, so uh, uh, Chinese uh, diplomacy is very clear in uh, supporting uh, Russia in its uh, aggression against Ukraine. And uh, China wants to, wants to destroy the unity inside uh, the Western countries, inside the NATO, the EU. And uh, yes, Russia and China, they don't have uh, a classical uh, type of uh, alliance. But at the same time, uh, we see uh, a broad um, uh, cooperation, uh, economic cooperation, uh, military cooperation, diplomatic cooperation. Um, about uh, this uh, phrase of uh, Chinese ambassador to France, uh, well, we can interpret it in in a very different way. Uh, for example, uh, China uh, don't uh, recognize uh, the sovereignty of all uh, 15 uh, former Soviet republics, including Russia. And uh, it's very obvious that uh, China wants to control uh, Russia, first of all, in economic terms. Uh, through uh, getting uh, cheap uh, resources and uh, having that, uh, uh, China wanna become a global power. Um, yes, uh, Ukrainian uh, diplomacy, uh, Ukrainian ambassador to France uh, uh, has made a statement that uh, this uh, phrase of uh, Chinese ambassador to France uh, 
uh, does not uh, correlate uh, with uh, official uh, Chinese uh, um, position. So, like, uh, China wants uh, uh, a peace uh, in Ukraine, and China wants, uh, and China is. Uh, a country uh, which respects uh, the international law, but at the same time uh, we don't see that uh, we don't see it in the real time. And your these comments come shortly after the French President Emmanuel Macron visited China to uh, request that President Xi Jinping encourage. Uh, Putin to end the war in Ukraine. What do we make of the timing of these comments? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, a good uh, timing. Actually, uh, President, uh, French President Macron, uh, uh, his uh, diplomacy is in a uh, Gaullist uh, way, uh, like uh, France is a uh, sort uh, power. Uh, no, uh, the U.S. Uh, no, Russia. Uh, this time, uh, at that time, it was Soviet Union. Yes, yeah, so and uh, France uh, want uh, wants to have a more autonomous foreign policy, and that was the main reason why Macron uh, visited uh, China. Uh, however, I I would uh, I would say I want to say that uh, this scandal with the Chinese ambassador to France uh, shows uh, that uh, the European response was very quick and uh, actually uh, French Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, they uh, uh, they made a statement that uh, this uh, phrase uh, violated uh, the international norms and uh, it's not uh, the appropriate way to discuss the Russian-Ukrainian war. Hmm. Thank you very much for being with us and your valued insights there, Yehor. You're welcome.